I feel like with you, you have this uh, decades of experience as a researcher and, and treating patients with cancer. So perhaps that's your cancer story. I don't know whether it's personal or whether it's professional. But so I just wanted to start out by asking, what is your cancer story? Uh, I was a sophomore in medical school. I was in the library and I was trying to study uh, neuroanatomy um, and I just, uh, it just didn't, wasn't interesting to me. So I, I got up from the, the, my, the little carol I was studying in and walked over to the, the stacks where they had the magazines and, and I, I stumbled across a, a journal called Blood, which is the, the hematology journal and it was in 1970 and there was uh, a article by Don Thomas, which was the first attempts to try bone marrow transplants in humans. And I, I took the article to uh, a guy by the name of Robert Schwartz, who was my immunology professor at the time, and I said, is this really possible? He said, well, you know, it, it is. It, it, it is conceivable this could be made to work, and it could be something that would be uh, of importance. Um, and that just stuck with me. I was, was uh, I just kept reading anything I could find about transplantation. The next year, I was on um, the, uh, the wards and there was a, a woman. We were transfusing her and she was, um, she was in her 30s. She was not an old woman. Uh, she had two young kids mm -hmm. uh, and um, she, uh, her blood counts were just so low she had essentially no platelets and she was just bleeding and she couldn't stop mm -hmm. you know and it was it was so sad and and i you know you you um, just thought you know if we could make bone marrow transplant work you know you could potentially cure this disease is there a, a similar experience in which you actually did find the opposite, that you were able to help a patient. A couple weeks ago, a, a woman came back mm -hmm. to see me that mm -hmm. we had transplanted uh, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and she just looked great. It was fun, because she, she came back with a little album of pictures of us together, and you know, and my, I had a, my beard was dark, and I actually had hair, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, these pictures through the years, and, and she was, uh, uh, I think 28 then, mm -hmm. and now she's 58, and her kids who were, you know, really small then, now they're grown, and you see the family pictures and the grandkids, and it, it's, that's, those, those are really nice. Do you sometimes wish you could go back to that first patient in medical school? And no, those patients stick with you, and you wish you could turn back time and, and help them, but, but hopefully, you know, all the advances we made are going to make that so much better for the next patient.